three and a half weeks ago, I was in a pub having a pint with him, um, just shooting the breeze, you know, and now suddenly he's not here anymore. Um, that's horrific. Over the first week of him being in hospital, he seemed to be getting better, but then suddenly he, he got an infection, a chest infection, and that was when they rang me to tell me that they were going to have to move him to intensive care units. But within the space of, I think, 24 hours, he had to be um, intubated. I think that was the Friday night, um, and then he sadly passed away on the 9th. Uh, so within 48 hours-ish, something like that, he went from being ventilated to, to no longer being with us. He, um, he touched lots and lots of people's lives, and... Um, you know, one of the, the things that kind of comes across in all of the kind of tributes that I've read about my dad over the last week or so have been how, um, you know, his sense of humour and his his um, ability to kind of listen to people, take on, you know, listen to their point of view. And, and he was very supportive of, of uh, local things as well. So things like um, uh, the Food Share charity, he was involved um, with supporting that as well. And, and they wrote a really lovely tribute about him as well. You know, obviously, you know, all, all his family miss him. We're all going to miss him, miss him lots. And, um, you know, uh, I just hope that um, everybody listens to this message and, you know, kind of thinks twice about, you know, making sure that they do the right thing. Wear your mask and be safe.